Good things can come from waste, even wastewater. KC Water has set out to prove that with a new plan, the Blue River Biosolids Improvement Facility Project. It is the largest project KC Water has undertaken, says Deputy Director Matt Bond. We came to the time where we could not uh, uh, spend more money on the incinerators to get them going, and so we looked at different ways to, to take care of the biosolids and uh, determined that we really needed to treat it uh, very well, to treat those biosolids well, uh, and uh, to uh, come up with an end product that will uh, actually be able to be reused, marketed, and distributed instead of disposing of it in an incinerator or a landfill. What happens to the wastewater after it's flushed down the toilet? It leaves homes and businesses and heads to the Blue River Wastewater Treatment Plant, the largest wastewater treatment plant in the Kansas City area. The waste, along with debris and trash, is removed from the water so it can be safely treated and sent back to where it came from, the Missouri River. For decades, half of the solid waste in the form of sludge was biologically digested and applied on land, while the other half was burned in an incinerator and its ashes disposed of in a landfill. Now, KC Water will eliminate those incinerators and rely solely on digesters. KC Water will use a process called thermal hydrolysis, which turns the sludge into biosolids. Dr. Julian Sandino with Jacobs, one of the firms assisting, explains. It's akin to having a pressure cooker at home. I am conditioning the raw sludge to make it more amenable to digestion, so I only have to use half of the digestion capacity. This highly innovative technology produces two products, biosolids and biogas. Susie Carpenter with Black & Veatch is on the design team of the project. What it does is it breaks down the solids so that you have less storage requirements, so it's saving the city money in the amount of digesters that are needed. And then it produces a biosolids that can be utilized for land application or landfilling, which is a big improvement from the incinerators that are being taken out of service. That product can be used as a soil conditioner and a fertilizer. Did you know KC Water has a farm? The biosolids can be used safely on our farm as it is currently in use all over the world. And that's not all. The biogas that comes from the process can be used also. To produce biomethane that could power a vehicle of utility fleet, let's say, in a much more sustainable way. Demolition has already begun on the incinerators at the Blue River Wastewater Treatment Plant. This is what the $150 million project will look like when completed in about three years. The facility's use of the thermal hydrolysis process will be one of the largest in the Midwest. Hopefully the, the city residents are going to notice that um, we're being environmentally friendly and looking for options that are um, a better resource. For Casey Water, I'm Heather Friars.